The Action Research of Applying a Flexible Instructional Design Model in MOOCs Design and Video Development, the case of Chile University of Technology. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our presentation. We are from the Center of Innovations in E-Learning of Chile University of Technology of Taiwan. Located in the metropolitan area of northern Taiwan, Chile University of Technology is a vocational and technical college in Taiwan with full enrollment. We make effectively use of online internal and external resources of comprehensively promote e-learning. As the campus is located in the Corn district of New Taipei City, we have over 10,000 students in full-time undergraduate division and the Department of Continuing Education in the limited space. In addition, the academic learning needs of students in full-time undergraduate division and nine division differ greatly. For example, the students in full-time undergraduate division need to work as interns in enterprises in their senior year, so that it's difficult for them to schedule classes. The students in the Department of Continuing Education need to work at daytime so that it is too late for them to have the first class in the evening, resulting in a comparatively high absent rate. Therefore, we set up two online course types of long-distance courses and the MOOCs to satisfy the demand of students of different educational systems. In addition to promote our systems in school, we also promote our e-learning energy and the experience by tutorship, lecture or industry education cooperation cases to spread our professionals. Meanwhile, we upload the online courses we develop to worldwide platforms for more learners to experience the quality online courses. At first, let's see how the long-distance courses of our schools are promoted. The Ministry of Education specifies that the implementation of long-distance courses in junior colleges refers to the teaching method of asynchronously, synchronously, or physically providing courses by mixed teaching design with over half of the total hours of regular credit courses and the single courses. From the table, you can see that the number of people taking the long-distance courses in our school from 2016 to 2020 has been accumulated to nearly 8,000. The students participate in the asynchronous courses by Chile LMS and the synchronous online courses via Google Meet so that they acquire rich online learning experiences. Next, let's move to MOOCs. On the campus, MOOCs are open to all the students at school, and the students who take the class are shown in the figure. Up to now, we have opened over 20 MOOCs, and every course provides rich content which lasts for 8 to 9 weeks with online learning activities. The number of students taking the class has been accumulated to over 20,000. Every course of MOOCs of our school is developed according to professional and systematic processes which can be divided into six stages. First, we convene a kickoff meeting before the course development to determine the course demand and the development orientation of audio-video teaching materials, jointly by the initiator of the course, the teacher, and the e-learning development team. Next, we enter the stage of course planning. The team assists the teacher to analyze the learning objects and the learning environment as well as plan the learning objectives and the course structure before drafting the course design list and the course outline. After confirming the course structure, we find out the content requiring audio-video teaching materials development. Before the development of teaching materials, we review whether the contents infringe upon any intellectual property according to the review mechanism. The intellectual property right mechanism is shown in figures. After confirming the course structure and the contents of teaching materials, we ask the lecturer to provide a script, just as the screenshot shown. Team members assist the lecturer to modify the draft for recording to make the sentence more natural and smooth. Then, when the lecturer is writing the script, we ask the lecturer to plan the teaching activity design so as to learn about the student's learning status and make them review their learning achievements by thinking about the subject and the deepen the learning impression. As shown in the figure, the activities include online discussion and quiz. After the lecture is finished, the team refers to the content characteristics of the teaching materials 
to collect videos and audio documents by a variety of approaches on pictures or sound recordings. Next, we enter the stage of post-production. According to the diversified pattern of teaching materials, the team used different software to present the teaching material content in a richer way and conform to the learning demand. During the development of audio-video teaching materials as well as post-production, we apply our finished produce review mechanism for continuously amendment by internal and external experts and the user's review to ensure the quality of MOOCs. Next, let's see how we apply MOOCs in a diversified way. We apply MOOCs on campus and upload them to Worldwide Platform for Udemy for overseas learners. Besides, we also offer MOOCs on the platforms with different properties, such as OpenEdu, Taiwan Life, Golf Alliance, and the E-Plus Public Affairs Park. In order to ensure that the students know well about relevant information of MOOCs, we turn to physical and online promotional methods, as well as the mechanism of online services. We believe that you are sure to feel our care and the patient by our efforts, particularly to guide the learner to successfully study and finish the course. We apply professional online guiding skills to offer the learner with rich learning experiences. The questionnaire and the evaluation result of every course is the basis for us to discuss and improve the courses continuously. It is because that we have professional MOOCs mechanism. You can see the flowchart of MOOCs mechanism, course offer, and the credit offset, which effectively improve the efficiency of promotion. We continuously advance towards sustainable operation by the way of resources integration. For example, we comprehensively integrate LCMS in terms of learning content management system, Chile LMS, and Chile MOOCs to provide a single foreground background entry to the e-learning environment. Moreover, we develop language app and integrate it with LMS learning recorded database to provide a more diversified form of learning. Meanwhile, by the ways of tutorship and lecture, we transfer the typical experiences to internal and external institutions. For example, we assist Taiwan companies such as Industrial Technology Research Institute, AU Optronic Corporation, and Inventech, Community University, and Junior Colleges to establish e-learning teams, develop online courses, and to cultivate e-learning lecturers. We appreciate everyone's recognition of our efforts and achievement in the third e-learning international conference and the Open Education Forum 2019. We won the 2019 e-learning execution performance year and award and the 2019 award of popularity with the excellent e-learning execution performance. Thank you for the listening and welcome to contact us.